This project is about many things. It's about home, comfort and storage and lots of it. However, it's mainly about providing fresh air and light to our clients' home. This is Sargood Lane. Sargood House on the left and a commercial building a mere five metres to the right. Here is the view from the apartment looking at the adjacent building with its mirrored facade. Sargood Edge is located to the south of the building on the first floor with limited access to light and air and only reflected views. Sargood House is an adaptive reuse development from the late 1990s designed by Woodmarsh. The highlighted area shows the location of our project and the distinctive structure of the former warehouse's deep concrete beams. A great structure, however, one not originally designed for living. You can see the area highlighted that shows the area of the facade we had to work with. We would eventually remove the glass. This was key to providing fresh air and light. This is our fabulous client. And this was the existing robe space. And storage, storage, storage was the key for the bags and the bags and the shoes and shoes and more. And of course, this robe was never going to cut it. So the solution was to provide 18 lineal metres, not including the second bedroom of wardrobe space. For a couple working internationally across finance and hospitality, relaxation was a key. This was the existing area for the ensuite, and we expanded it to this. Above all else, the clients wanted fresh air coming in from the outside. The area marked in red shows the windows and where we plan to remove the glass. Our solution to our client's brief was to carve away internal space to create the new outdoor space, a simple concept it wasn't. Prior to getting heritage and town planning approval, consent was required for the owner's corporation to alter the facade. Once all the waterproofing issues were addressed, the owners' corporation gave their approval as they soon realised that this could be adopted for other south-facing apartments. And this is Sargood Edge, designed and constructed over two and a half years, most of it during COVID. This section marker cuts through the new winter garden, bedroom and ensuite. The elevation shows the internal edge with planter boxes to provide the green edge. The planter boxes to the left of the winter garden concealed the existing window sill edge, which was problematic as it allowed a climbing toe hold. As you can see, the floor level is flush across the new outdoor level to the interior. This was achieved by raising the entire apartment floor to create drainage under the winter garden. Here, terrazzo pavers sit on poly pads that have a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter gap to allow water to flow underneath to the strip drain and then outside. This section cuts through the ensuite bedroom and living area, looking at the new external edge. The elevation shows the raised floor and the new steel sliding doors to the outside area. You can see here the steel sliding doors and to the left of the image there are continuous grills which allow airflow uh, right throughout the building and we adopted this um, right throughout the apartment. The change in level occurs at the entry. All openings to rooms have pivot doors to blend seamlessly into the background. Shelving behind the dining table was designed to fit the client's very specific uh, travel souvenirs. This section cuts through the ensuite, and again you can see the raised floor which allows for plumbing to go wherever we wanted it to. And here storage, storage, storage was still the catch cry. The clients must have was this black enamel bath with zinc lining and um, rubber ducks were optional. Also on the must-have list was the steam room and combined shower, a space for the couple to have much needed downtime. This section is cut through the bedrooms and joinery. 
oh, bedrooms and entry, excuse me. The elevation shows the changes to the level and uh, some of the wardrobes in the bedroom area. Storage for miles are at least that 18 metres and again not including the second bedroom. The entry shows the steps which um, as well as raising the floor for the winter garden uh, we also needed it to get services um, right throughout. Uh, this section cuts through the entry landing, living and uh, the winter garden. Here you can see the rhythm of the concrete beams and the kitchen has all the bells and whistles that you would expect of a project of this scale. This section cuts through the winter garden and I'm not expecting anyone to read this but it shows the level of detail that we had to go into to achieve two building permits with two building surveyors and also two uh, performance based solutions because suddenly we were dealing with an outside room. And of course everyone was happy to be back on site after one of the many lockdowns. You can see the uh, plumbing starting to go in and the window panes removed from the upper panels of the windows. The steel doors, getting goods in and out of a building with only domestic lifts is rather tricky and this was no exception. Here you can see the membrane that was used to waterproof the winter garden. And of course, brilliantly, there's lots and lots of breeze and you can see the formation to the left of the planter boxes. These windows now open fully to allow lots and lots of air through and provide a new elevation for the clients that actually increase the light to that area. And uh, this is the finished project, as I mentioned, and fingers crossed, 